We begin with some breaking news coming out of Germany, where lawmakers in Parliament have voted to legalize cannabis for private consumption. The new legislation allows the limited legal availability of cannabis with numerous rules, regulations and restrictions. The government says that the main goal of the bill is to crack down on the black market and drugs related crime. But the move faced considerable opposition from medical associations, the judiciary and opposition politicians. Cannabis will be legalized in Germany. The decision came after much debate. The government's aim is to solve a number of social problems by decriminalizing the drug. In principle, the law addresses three existing and unresolved problems. The first problem is that we have increasing cannabis consumption. We have extensive and increasing drug-related crime. And finally, we have a large black market that is becoming more and more problematic, in which cannabis products increasingly contain toxic additives. On April 1st, the ban on cannabis, which has been in force for more than 40 years, is to be lifted. It will then become legal for adults to grow three cannabis plants at home. Adults will also be allowed to possess up to 25 grams in public. Non-commercial cultivation and sale will be permitted in limited quantities from July in so-called cannabis social clubs. Consumption is prohibited close to schools, playgrounds, daycare centers and youth facilities and by minors. The legalization of cannabis has been criticized by parts of the judiciary and law enforcement. Both fear above all inefficient and impractical regulations for checks and penalties. The German Medical Association considers the age limit of 18 to be too low due to the potential health risks for young people. The German government says its cannabis campaign will provide people with the information they need to make informed decisions. When we've shown the cannabis campaign to everyone, every young person will know that if they consume cannabis, if they do it regularly, they are damaging their brain. Germany's largest opposition party is critical of the plans, announcing it will repeal the law if it wins next year's election. Let's go live now to the Bundestag, where... Correspondent Thomas Sparrow is standing by. So tell us more about this vote, Thomas. Well, it was certainly a controversial vote right here in the German parliament. This is the result, Sarah, of many months of very fierce debate here in parliament, but also in German society as a whole, about this law and in particular about the implementation of the law. There was a poll only recently which revealed that Germans are actually divided when it comes to the support of the law. Around 47% of those who were asked said they supported it, but around 40% said they were against, with the remaining 10% saying that they basically didn't have a strong opinion on the matter. So basically, what has just happened today here in the German parliament is the result of many months of discussions. For the German government in particular, this is an important moment because they had presented this as one of their main goals when they came to power. But the main opposition party here in Germany, as well as other people, as well as other institutions, remain critical about this law that has been passed here in Parliament. Uh, it's, it's been reported, it's been said that this law is actually quite complicated. Thomas, what's it going to mean in actual practice? Well, that is actually the key question, Sarah, how it will be implemented. Germany's health minister was talking here to the press and he was stressing that this is definitely a step in the right direction, that the previous policy here in Germany had failed, that it was time for Germany to change. But if you talk to legal experts, if you talk to medical associations, many there are actually critical about how this will be implemented and what effects it will have. Effects, for example, on the health of young people, but also how it will be implemented in Germany's different states, in Germany's 16 federal states. So, Although the law has certainly now passed here in Parliament, there are a lot of questions that still remain about how exactly it will be implemented and what the medium to long term effects will actually be. It takes effect in a month's time. How will Germany compare to other European countries in making cannabis more widely available? 
Well, Germany joins other European countries that have decriminalized or authorized the, the use in different ways. And many people actually see the Netherlands as being sort of the European Union country with the most tolerant laws in this respect. But several analyses have actually shown that it's another country okay. in the European Union, the small country of Malta, that has specifically the most tolerant laws in this respect. So basically what you're seeing also across Europe is a variety of laws and regulations which also respond to the debates that are happening in those respective societies. Because what we're seeing here in Germany, what we've seen here in Germany in the last few months, is something that we're also seeing in other European societies as well. Let's hear a voice now from Germany's governing coalition on this. Christina Lutke is a drug policy spokesperson for the business-friendly FDP party and a member of the German parliament. Welcome to the program and thank you so much for joining us. Your party has been pushing for this over many years now. Why is it so important to you? Well, thank you for having me here, first of all. My party has been pushing the topic because we do see that the policy of repression and prohibition didn't work out. The numbers of consumers of cannabis are always rising, um, um, especially with the young people, the children and the minors. So we do need to change our acting way um, to a better way to cope with cannabis mm. consume. Uh, your partners, we have to say, um, in the SPD, one of the things that they said that they were especially worried about was access to those who are under age 18 years old. How are you going to address those concerns? Well, right now it is really easy for everybody to enter the illicit market also for children and with the cannabis clubs we do have a strict age limit. It is uh, just the entrance for adults, for 18 year old people and older and there is um, there are different requirements that have to be met for protecting the youth and the minor from entering the cannabis club. So we are aiming to push back the illicit market and therefore giving less chances for dealers or the illicit market to sell their cannabis to minors. If it goes through, what would this plan mean for the justice system and for policing in Germany? Because, I mean, lawyers and judges, they have been out with this warning of what is a potential mess ahead with convicted marijuana users wanting to be exonerated. Well, at the beginning, there's, this might actually be some uh, amount of work to do, but in the end, there will be less people that uh, will be convicted from cannabis uh, criminal, um, cannabis addict, cannabis verdict. So, uh, in the end, it'll turn out just fine, and um, the amount of work will diminish also for police and justice. What do you think the implications of cannabis legalization in Germany might be internationally, for example, for, for Europe and beyond? Well, as we are still aiming to legalize cannabis, as we can see it in Canada, we do hope that there will be a movement on the European um, level as well, that there will be other European states trying um, similar ways to cope with cannabis and that there will be a change, a shift in the paradigm to um, uh, uh, how to handle cannabis. With me now is Bernd Werzer. He co-founded the Center for Drug Research at Goethe University in Frankfurt and has been tracking the legalization process. Mr. Werzer, welcome to DW. Cannabis is still illegal in most European countries, but what has changed here in Germany that a bill has now come to a vote? Oh, well, that was a quite complicated and long process. Uh, but I think the main thing is that we had uh, the, um, that, that we, that some years ago we got the current coalition where we have uh, two parties that are uh, since years strongly um, uh, arguing for uh, for a legal approach and uh, cannabis use the uh, green party and also the liberals and also some people from the social democrats were convinced uh, including the minister of health who was uh, putting this f forward in the last months but what are they convinced of what is the argument that seems to have won them over well uh 
I think there is some discrepancy between what the uh, government says and what most of the experts that are pro-legalization uh, uh, say. Um, I think, in in my view, the the most uh, valuable argument is to decriminalize people um, who, or the million people in Germany who are uh, occasional or regular users of cannabis, um, because it doesn't make sense to put uh, penalties on people just because they use a certain substance. Um, the main approach of the government is uh, to um, provide more um, health protection, more public health for uh, for the people who use cannabis. Uh, I, th I think this can be reached in part with the current law because they didn't, they won't legalize the whole process and uh, commercial sales, mm -hmm. but only non-commercial uh, sales. Um, and they also want to provide more youth protection. And uh, I think this can only just partly be reached now with the current law. But would there be an impact on the justice system from policing to the courts if cannabis were to be legalized? Uh, in any case, there will be less cases of people who uh, will be criminalized for just possessing small amounts of cannabis. It's uh, uh, almost 200,000 per year who uh, got a sentence or, or got a, a process because um, they were uh, caught with a small amount of cannabis. Uh, but what... Um, state attorneys and judges are now complaining about that they have to uh, um, research all the cases where people are currently uh, being um, penalized uh, for, for, for possession. And so it will provide more work for, for this uh, part of the legal system. But in any case, it, it will be less work to, to um, prosecute uh, just users how they did all the years before. We'll uh, leave it there, but thanks so much for joining us this morning. Bernd Werzer of the Center for Drug Research in Frankfurt. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you.